Welcome to Programming with Professor Califf. We've started talking about writing classes, which also means writing methods in classes. Today I want to spend a little time talking about the parameters to our methods and what really happens in Java when we pass different types of data as parameters. Java passes all parameters by value. So what does that mean? Well, it means we make a copy of the variable's value and we send that copy to the method. So then we need to think about what it is that we're making a copy of. For primitive variables, this is pretty straightforward. When I pass the parameter, I get a new location in memory that has a copy of the number, the letter, or the true or false value. So if I have a method in some class like this, I've got my method, passes the parameter my num, then inside we add one to the parameter and print it. Now back in main, I'm going to call this method my object dot my method and pass it my value num lives. So in memory, we'll set aside a separate spot called my num to hold a copy of the num lives variable. Then as we execute the function and do the my num plus plus piece, my num will change to four, but num lives won't change. What about our objects? Remember that our object variables are object reference variables. So the actual value of the variable is the memory address. So when we do assignment with our objects, we copy the memory address instead of the object itself. The same thing is true of passing object reference parameters. We're still passing by value and making a copy, but we're making a copy of the reference, the memory address. So here I have a method that takes a savings account parameter and calls deposit. And so when I call that method with account two, I'm gonna get a copy of the address in the my account variable. A parameter is really just a variable that we use to pass things around. So then when I call the deposit in the method, the object is going to change. So the value that account two is pointing at will change just like it did when we did assignment. There is one caveat to this. Because we're passing the reference by value, we can change the object that the reference is pointing at. But we do need to remember that we only passed a copy of that address. This will matter if we do things like use new to store a new value in our object reference parameter or otherwise assign a different memory address. So for example, if I were to do this, where after I pass in my account, I say my account is assigned new savings account. What will happen is we'll make the copy initially just like we did before, but then when we create the new object, the new savings account for my account, we'll have a new memory address. So now my account is pointing at some other object in a different part of memory. And anything we do with my account in that variable will have no impact on the original account too. Similarly, if you pass a parameter that is a string and you assign a new value to that string parameter, that's gonna have no impact on anything we do back in the old place. The old string is still the same string. Even though we copied a reference, as soon as we did the assignment, we lost track of the old object. I hope this has given you a better understanding of what happens when we pass different kinds of parameters in Java. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we'll be talking about using the static keyword in our classes.